President of the Jamaica Gasoline Retailers Association, JGRA, Gregory Chung, says the move is long overdue. The JGRA is in support of the government of Jamaica to take over the 49% stake. We need to ensure energy security. Our Auditor General report stated that the refinery is badly in need of upgrading, and so we need to, to do this. The foreign direct investment aspect of it is great, but uh, we must make decisions in the interest of Jamaica, and this is overdue. Mr. Chung also notes that a committee has been mandated to review the refinery's operations and make recommendations. He says a full control of the refinery will allow the government to be able to make the necessary changes recommended. You can see that there is certain red tape in doing business when you have partners that have sanctions with the U.S. government. So. That is also, you know, definitely a drawback, and we need to move forward. And Parliament's Public Accounts Committee, PAC, is to meet this month to discuss the Auditor General's report on Petrojam. This was disclosed on Tuesday by Leader of Government Business in the House of Representatives, Carl Samuda. The Auditor General last month tabled a report on Petrojam, which highlighted human resource and procurement breaches, billions in unaccounted oil, lack of transparency in fuel pricing and waste of public funds on lavish parties. Kodian Barrett, Frontline News.